Hey everyone, it's GamerCat09, and welcome to Sarah is Missing. This game was suggested to me by the chat um, to play after I played Emily is Away 1 and 2. And I am not really sure what to expect from this. I don't know if it's going to be kind of the same with text messaging. I don't know. This looks like a cell phone to me. This kitty looks really adorable. And I'm assuming this is Sarah. But then I also question, why are we looking at Sarah's phone? Are we Sarah? I don't know. Let's, uh... Ooh. Oh. System failure. Wait. Your device ran into a problem and needs to reset. Do you want to restore your device to an earlier time? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Do we... Critical process died? I, I guess. Do we want to do that? Restoring Iris? Oh, it's Siri backwards. Okay, so this is like an iPhone. I guess. Ow! I had the volume all the way up! What was that? Oh my god! Ow! Who the fuck are you? What? <laughs> Welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged and you don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? How the fuck are you seeing me? Um. Oh. Oh, can I just... Oh, I can't type, so... Who is Sarah? Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her. View. She's pretty. Okay. Wait, how many? 51 of 64. Wish I could, but how? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you? I don't know her. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Why is the phone telling me this? Would you like to watch and help me verify? Sure. Oh god, is this gonna be like you die in seven days after watching it? I hear footsteps. Why are you recording? Okay. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. How badly? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. Well, time to take it to Verizon. Or Apple, in this case. <laughs> I think Sarah is in trouble. She looks like she needs help. Why am I talking to a phone? She has better than Kristen Stewart. Yes, it would appear so. I am this mobile's personal assistant. Intelligent recon recon recognitive. I can't even say that word. Iconal tree system. I R I S. Or Iris. Iris. It is my best interest to locate her, and it would be in your good conscience to help me find her. You don't have a conscience, you're a computer. Why do you want help? She is my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. Oh my god, the phone is self-aware. Everybody run! Everyone run! <laughs> uh, want? Well, yeah, you sound human. What the fuck's up with this shit? Yes. I want. 
we are wasting precious- Wait. What? That doesn't answer the question. Wait, what? I, I mean, I don't have a choice. It's called Sarah is missing, so... <laughs> da -da -da -da. Mama, mama, mama. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have just the two for here. Here we go. Here we go. X-Files. Okay, I'll stand these guys back up. I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I am able to. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Okay, it's offline suddenly. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Toss that phone into some water. There you go. Be like, ah, oh, fuck you. Sure. This is why I don't have an iPhone. I'm restarting the restore process. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Uh, message is restored. Ooh, mail restored. Chat unavailable. Oh boy. Coffee. Yeah, sure, let's make it 6.30. Bring the stuff. Next time, bring your own research. Leaders jam. Erg, he's so annoying. I'm so... Wait, I should probably go from down here. What are you up to this weekend? Swamp with my work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really up for it. But it's sort of your thing, too. What do you mean? It's, oh god, Wal Walpurgisnacht. Wait, isn't that, that's German. Something night. The witch's feast? Okay, maybe it means witch, witch's night was something. Nacht is, Nacht is night in German, so that's why it caught me. Isn't that the witch's feast? How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural stuff too. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Oh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween? Hello? I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. If if you've made up your mind now, why make them ask you tomorrow? Just tell them to fuck off. Hi, Mom. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I have decided to end things. Things were not working out, so... But I'm okay. Sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Right? Well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, just, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on the plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this intent. Intent! Come home this intent! I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no, I'm not coming home, and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? Hi, Mom. Just wanted to let you know I've touched down walking to... Wait, when was this? February 14th, and then the 20th. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry, couldn't... Couldn't send you a text. I've got to go to a meeting now. The driver is waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. So she, despite not wanting to go home, did go home a couple days later, like six days later, flew back home, 
arrived home at 11 and then the mom worked all day and didn't even like do anything with her daughter. Like I'd be pissed if my parents were like, yeah, we really want to see you. And I go there and they're working. I'd be like, what the fuck? Why am I here? <laughs> Hate that. Yeah, maybe the cat did it. Hi, Dodger fan. Happy Tuesday. Sarah, I've scheduled you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Wow, what a great mom. Mom, I have a seminar to go to and we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're going to pick your silly research on ghosts, of all things, over possibly working at a top agency. I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only want to help you build a promising career, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. Well, maybe she doesn't want to be someone who's stuck at her frickin' work desk every day, Mom. Mom, first of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And second... Secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. Ooh. I think that's a punch in the gut because it doesn't sound like mom and dad are together. You know, the only reason why you can go on and do all your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a future, at the very least, a good paying job or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you could do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all your expenses. You've lived a pretty comfortable life and a spoiled one at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I've asked from you is that you go on, is that you go to this, for this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you and your father, he was a good man. Oh, rest his soul. So he's dead but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it to become like him. Wow. Um, do you ever think, Mom, that maybe she's into parapsychology and ghosts because her dad is dead? Just maybe. Just throwing it out there. Just a little premise. Just a little bit. Okay, Mom. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You will have dinner at home. We will take further on this okay wow mom's a bitch hey you there what do you want nothing i just i'm about to board why should i care well that's one of the probs ain't it you barely care did you text me to tell me that you're such an asshole look i didn't mean i definitely didn't want to hurt you i mean i wish what things were different I wish things were different. Okay. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's why I'm trying to say, I don't know, arg. Why do people find it so fucking hard to say what they need to say on text? Like, I can understand in person because you're like, uh, uh, words. But you're typing. There, there is an entire English dictionary somewhere that can elaborate, elaborate what you're feeling. But y you gotta do all this ellipses shit. <sighs> I think it's ellipsis. Ellipses? Ellipsis. Now I'm eating my own words. Great. I'm trying to tell you that this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not. Whoa. Wait, what? They're, they are not our problems. It's me and you. And you're the one that keeps avoiding this shit. Shifting problems here and there. How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. <laughs> please. Listen, please. Listen, please. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrated, but it's Valen fucking times day. 
Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women on valent fucking tines? Jesus, and not have the balls to tell me about it, you lying piece of shit. Okay, that's pretty bad. Not telling you something is not the same as lying, but it is. I told you it's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. You want to play technicality with me now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that, at least. That's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back to our chalet. Our. Sorry. My mistake. It's my chalet now. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a fuck a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm boarding now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. March 3rd. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry I miss you. Oh, April 13th, what are you up to? April 28th, Sarah, please talk to me. April 30th. Whoa, how? From Valentine's Day to April 30th. Holy crap. It, it sounds like this guy is like a photographer or something, and he might have gotten the last minute gig that he had to go and take pictures of naked women, but the whole premise of him actually doing it did not go down well. Baby, I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. <sighs> Bye, God. Guy held out for like two months. Ridiculous. And that's Derek, I guess. Aya. Yeah. Hey, bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me. And some abs at the club. What? Sorry, babe, got assignment, can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, like, like abs, like Tarzan. No one compares anybody's abs to Tarzan. Nobody in 2018 compares their abs to Tarzan. No one. Sorry, you know I won't want I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time? It's ladies' night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down abs. What? Like, are you at a strip club? <laughs> the abs? Tempting. But I'm going to pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but hmm, chocolate lava brownies. No, you don't want melted chocolate down somebody's abs. It just looks like shit. This is bad. <laughs> Celebrating freedom? You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though. I'll have one on your behalf. Thanks. I will catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. I have so many questions, but then again, I don't go clubbing, so maybe that's why I have so many questions. Ha ha ha, betch, betch. You know they love my love handles, them puppies, wild mama. What? Oh, ice cream, winky face, tug, water, ghost? What? What is this even? <laughs> If this was me, I'd be like, girl, you're smoking crack. Goodbye. Like, what? The puppy's wild mama. What the fuck? Hey, where have you been? Why didn't you reply to me? I texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night, betch. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last to last oh no. What the fuck? Let's get coffee. I've got news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me, Kay. Hey, Sarah, I'm worried. You've been MIA. You're not normally like this. <laughs> the puppy's wild, mama. It's going to be my new favorite quote. Oh, that guy's a creep. He killed her. Totally. Buddy, so how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? Sigh, Derek broke up with me. Let's tell everybody. Sorry to hear that, by the way. <laughs> Typical guy. Well, it sucks anyway about me. 
by the way, free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing a research on the relative relativity of ghosts to culture, and it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. That's neat. That's why you're dead. By the way, are you into but what? How do you throw this in there? How do you throw this in there? What the fuck? What? I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. Oh. No problem, poke you later. What? What? Oh, cool. You got a ghost thesis? So do you like anal? Buddy! Buddy! Sarah? I don't question anymore why you're missing. Your life is cray cray. Your friends are cray cray. I think you ran away from everybody. I think you looked at your phone and you said fuck all this shit and you threw it and you deliberately tried to kill it and it didn't work because we found it. Like, I think I just solved the problem. I just solved it. This is it. This is this is where the game ends. Nice weather today. Could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Who the fuck text you about the weather? Can I send you some pics? I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. It's of my penis. Ugh, God. Buddy. Buddy. Yes, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? Nope. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? <laughs> I don't have a penis on it. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> This is hard to take seriously. I mean, you, I meant your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? Nope. Bend over for me? No, thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you. Really? Lucky me, huh? Jesus freaking Christ. What is wrong with these people? How do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, it's been a while since I had them, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head and you can see these nuts. <sighs> oh, my God. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. Okay, buddy, that was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. What the fuck? Okay, that, no. I forgot that I have to do that. Let me... Let me... Is... Is that German? Yes, you are well informed. What is that? Walper Walpurgis Nacht or Walpurgis Night in English. Valpsnacht. It's it's called because it's the eve of the feast of the Saint Walpurga in eighth century Abbess in Francia. It is believed to be the night of a witch's meeting. Uh, do people still practice this? Freedom of religion or freedom of belief is a principle that... Of course, I know this. It also includes the freedom to change one's religion or belief. Okay. 
So I'm supposed to be doing this, and that's nothing. So there's nothing there. Sarah's actions, it's unusual. How do you know what is unusual? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life, I can simulate or deduce that her actions or inactions in this situation does not match her past behavior. Is she always like that? Her recent behavior shows that she is suffering from abrupt and apparent un unaccountable change of moods, possibly due to her relationship issue. God, I wish my phone cared about me, but I'm no doctor. Uh, I agree with you. Like, I think there might be more clues. I believe the gallery is corrupted. I'm not done reading about stuff. Okay, so there's nothing here. Er, uh. <laughs> Erg, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Super crazy. Something crazy. Why did I say super? I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know. I guess you are right. You are the genius in our batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. Don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. G girl, if you're just hitting the club and hooking up with people drunk, there's something that you need to look very hard on in your life. And I don't mean Buddy and his penis jokes and his wanting of your tits. I mean, you need to actually establish a relationship sober with somebody in order to ever feel comfortable around someone drunk. And you're not going to find that person at the club, okay? Mama Cat speaks. Like, you need some help. And I don't think your phone... Well, actually, your phone's smarter than any of your friends, but I don't think... This is the answer to your problems. And you don't need a crazy friend. You don't need. You need a very sane friend to not text you, to go to your house and be like, you are stupid. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to Netflix and chill. We're going to eat a giant bowl of mac and cheese. And we're going to get tissues. And we're going to cry it all out. And we're going to talk for the rest of the night. And then you're going to feel amazingly better tomorrow. Done. Okay? Duh! This whole situation is so weird to me. Sometimes I can't tell if you are joking. Haha. <laughs> but put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just try. Okay, fine. Fine. I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my specialty. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You'll be all right. I know, I know. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks, I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. Haha, <laughs> I just might. Take care. Nothing. Okay. James. Coffee. Oh, that was the one I read before. Nothing. Chat group unavailable. What is this about? Nothing. All right, so that's all the messages. So let's check the gallery. Oof. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> because she's Jill Valentine. Uh, please wait while I find out what's wrong. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You will need the passcode to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Uh, can't you just tell me? 
I'm afraid I can't reveal personal information. But you're letting me navigate her phone. You will need... Oh my god. How the hell do I do that? Perhaps it is somewhere in this device. Oh god. Birthday. Um, mail. Um, submission deadline for final assignment. Nothing. Uh, the virus note. Oh, ghost from Professor. I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. You brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age like the major develop properly? I would imagine they would have leave the pituitary gland untouched. Overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum when cybernization, cy cybernization is introduced into the equation. J.D. Salinger is real enough, but the man who wrote The Individual Eleven, the book containing ten essays on revolution, Patrick Sylvester, is a fictional creation of Sir Suro Masamune? Masamun? Masamune? As a plot device for the second season. However, the themes from Standalone Complex... Ooh! Standalone Complex! Are they talking about Ghost in the Shell? are not in The Catcher of the Rye or The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot. This topic is something I've wondered off and on myself. First, let me run a biological perspective, one with cyborg bodies and cyber brains. We would not get reveal real viruses. We also would not have an, any immune system. We would not have any endocrine system without... Oh God, this is long. I don't think I want to read all this. Men, I don't think, would be the same or even close, but two sexes would perhaps be closer. Why would we need to be with anyone? So they're talking about people being robots? Uh, people are people until we aren't people anymore, right? We have many of the same struggles as we have had in the past. I mean, that's why people still read holy books written thousands of years ago to find out answers for the problems of today. What will be problematic is if we do not keep aware of what had happened, what is happening in order to continue to improve upon the future. Being unaware is so much more of the problem. Jesus. Oh, they must, standalone complex must mean something else. I'm thinking anime. But this is going really deep. I don't know if I can, if I have, like, the brain power to figure this shit out. But that's from the professor. Party invite. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Nothing. Happy birthday, Sarah. Valentine's Day. Okay. So it's 0214. So she got dumped on her birthday? Oh my god! The poor girl! You have successfully unlocked Sarah's gallery. Hooray! So I found it. Okay. I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend, and I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. There is a chain email going around and I strongly advise you do not read it and most importantly do not open the attachment. It could come in any shape and form but always with a particular video attachment. It's said that whoever watches the video will bring up a bad omen. Did she open up a video that she wasn't supposed to? Seven days without love makes one week. On Mingles you've always... Oh boy. You've received this email because you are a member of Mingles, and your email settings are set to receive our newsletter. Oh my god. Mingles with the shingles. Try our new carpet flavored coffee beans featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. What? What? 
It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Oh, coupon. If you want a coupon, here you go. Anything for that? Nope. Cool. Great start to your London 2017 wish list. Okay, so she's in London. Thank you for extending your stay with every B and B. Here's your confirmation. Four days. Laura's single apartment. Okay, so nothing there. All right. Need to train my brain. So, I think we're going to take a quick break, and then. We're going to continue on with this and look in the gallery and see how it goes because Dolly is super hungry, so I have to go feed her. So take a break, guys, and we'll BRB maybe like 10, 15, all right? So hang on a second, BRB. BRB. <laughs> 